we feel we can kick on with the changes we're going to make at the current stadium, with the things we can do when we move to a new stadium. And that's really, really important for our club to grow. Uh, we've seen a number of investment projects already undertaken, already successfully completed, which include uh, the building of uh, the training dome out at our training ground, which has allowed us to have Category 2 status for our academy. Secondly, uh, just over a year ago, the ownership group committed to buying the stadium back from the local council. We believe that the broader the foundation we have for the club, the broader that base of revenues, the broader the base of opportunities and infrastructure will allow us to have bigger budgets. I think to diversify revenue is, is critical, whether whether you're a Premier League club or a League Two club. We want to have a nice blend of revenue, which means that we will always have control over our business practices and our strategic decision making because we have sustainable revenues that are not all based on football. I believe we should be a championship club. I believe that's where we belong, but we don't have all the pieces in place to stick. So these first projects are about extending or broadening that infrastructure base that provide us long-term sustainability. To generate greater revenue here, we want to put in safe standing, which will create a better match day experience, drive more fans to come and try it. We want to create a new sports bar, which again will drive revenue seven days a week, which we don't have now. I think getting a, a new stadium is going to be the centerpiece of the strategy going forwards. That will allow us to become a sustainable football club year on year, regardless of which division we're playing football in, be it Championship, League One, League Two, dare I say it, Premier League. It's for concerts, it's for culture, it's for football, it's for um, the university, the new centre of the community, uh, used 300 times a year, not just 30 times a year by a football club. So we have three key projects we'd like to fund, and we looked at how best we could finance these three projects. We could have gone to an external debt provider, um, or we decided actually that there's a new opportunity now to get our fans involved, to have fans both economically uh, rewarded for their participation, and also more of part of the fabric of the club. So that's what we've done. We're introducing a bond. The bond is a five-year uh, investment opportunity one can put it in ISA and therefore receive the interest uh, tax-free and it pays a 9% annual rate of return. In the event that we're promoted to the championship, uh, the bondholder gets a 15% uh, bonus. We're really hoping that that's something we can pay out on. It's a chance for a fan to make 9% on the money every year for five years. It's the fans' chance to help us improve our facilities, which will help them as well. They'll enjoy the facilities we're going to spend the money on. And I feel in my 15 plus years, We've always had a reputation for doing things the right way financially. We feel very comfortable with the level we're going in at, with the improvements we're making, the way we do our business, the transfer business, that our fans will enjoy it, they'll get paid for dinner, and obviously they'll get the money back. And that's why we thought we'd do it. It's not something we need to do, it's something we wanted to do. We believe that you should be in the second tier and you should run a financially stable business, and we can do that. I think that's one of the things I really like about our vision is we can be a model that says, boy, why don't we do it like those guys do it? The supporters are the most fundamentally important aspect of our football club, uh, and, and without them, we, we wouldn't have a football club. It's, it's an opportunity to engage at a far higher level, an opportunity to invest in the future of their football club, and it's a huge opportunity to be, to be part of our journey.